There's a white Jeep. Ten seconds to move it or it goes away. Oh, that's my Jeep. Uh, be a sweetheart and move it, will you, officer? Uh... Hanson. Hanson. Yes, be a sweetheart and move it for me, will you, officer? Hanson. And uh, be a sweetheart and get it washed while you're at it, officer. Um, uh... Hanson. Hanson, that's right. Yes. My name is Hanson. <laughs> that's her. That's supposed to be a secret. Jude, there are no secrets. You were the one who said we should keep this a secret. Oh, I changed my mind. In my office? So what? So, you were pretty good at playing Mr. Cool and distant at your place of business. Well, they already know. Oh, okay. Well, I have to drop by your office later. You won't mind if I just throw you over Penhall's desk for a nice big hello. No, see, that would be fine. But right now, we're in your office. At your desk. And you don't have the nerve. Here. Give her this. Uh, excuse me. Am I interrupting something? No, not at all. I, I was just clearing my desk. Tom Hansen, Councilman Davis. Hi. Glad to meet you. We met before? Yes, I'm over at Jump Street, and you tried to dismantle the program. Right. Well, I uh, hope that won't affect your vote come November. Officer. Saw you over at the courthouse today, Hanson. Yeah, to drop something off at the DA's office. As in Deputy DA Garrett? Yeah. Oh, come on, Hanson, you holding out on me. You know you'd be the first to know about my love life? Bull, Penhall will be the first to know. Well, you'll be the second. Blowfish will be the second. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Costa Rica, Maui, Aspen. What, are you becoming a travel agent? No, no, I just want to stop talking about it and actually go on a vacation. That is, if you're interested in you and me alone. No work, no distractions. Just a whole lot of, um... Yes. Why don't we go this weekend? Okay. I mean, you know, you're sick of talking about it. I'm sick of talking about it. Wait, no! Not this weekend, I have that party. What are you talking about? I thought you said you wanted no, to go. No, I was hoping you'd go with me. What party? The, um, the one I told you about. You didn't tell me about any party. Come on, it's, it, it's gonna be great. It's just gonna be friends mostly, and just a couple people from work. How many people from work? A couple. A hundred. Everybody from criminal courts. I'm going on vacation. Oh, come on, you know how these things are? No, look, I'm going to Costa Rica. I have to go to this. And you don't just go to these things without a date. Listen, I hate these people, and I'm gonna get stuck talking to Councilman Davis all night. I know it. No, 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 no. He won't be there, I promise. I want you to go with me. Mm -hmm. What if we go bowling afterwards? Yeah, yeah, don't... What if we go bowling in Aspen? <sighs> what about Maui? So, while all this audit stuff's going on, it turns out Judy and the guy are, uh, <coughs> you know. You're kidding me. How'd you find that out? She told Panel. I guess he let her have it or something. Well, it's not exactly your best move. Well, look, you get men and women working together. I mean, where else are people supposed to meet? You and I met at a dinner party, remember? Yeah, Penhall's dinner party. So what's the difference? You met Penhall at work. Look, all I'm saying is if you're gonna get involved with someone you work with, you gotta be prepared for the consequences. I thought women were supposed to be understanding about this stuff. Well, they are. And since it's usually their careers that suffer, most women know how to avoid the situation. You mean the smart ones? No, I mean the practical ones. Like you? That only happened with us because... Because you're practical. It's just, I think it's interesting, a cop and a deputy DA. <laughs> you don't see that very often. It's not that weird, Rachel. So, how do you enjoy police work? Well, I grew up around it, right? My father was a cop. A whole family of cops, then? Yes, I think it has something to do with inbreeding. Rachel! Jackie! Mm. 
You ladies look beautiful tonight. Thank you. You look pretty dapper yourself, Councilman. Yeah. Officer Hanson. Councilman Davis. How's the audit going? Well, so far, everything's copacetic. Excellent. It's thirsty. Ah. <laughs> Tom certainly is cute. Cute. Cute meaning what, Rachel? Jackets off hours. Stop reading into things. It's just you have a very bright future. Oh, and the right match can only make it brighter, right? Well, there's no point in sleeping your way down the ladder, is there? Tom. Does this mean we can go away now? Yes. Where are you going? We're going away now. Excuse me. 